Right, this could be video six or seven on the 5th of July 2017. I'm in a field. Robero Warren over there. Which I arrived at several hours ago and then I got up, up on the Mendips. Had a lovely walk down off the Mendips on a track there, bridle path. And there's so much beauty around, like lots of different wildflowers and grasses and oh, I just had to take those pictures and then right over there we got the wireless station the aerials another one of my important reference points when out walking this way there's a part of footpath that goes along the top there I passed them the other week when I was at, did um, Velvet Bottom Now it's weird, not long ago, we go through that gate and there, there was cows there, long grass and cows, and, and they've gone. They've took, I don't know where they've gone, but they've gone. And, um, God, I've got these bloody horse flies after me all the time, I'm going to be covered in bites. I can already feel fresh ones, I've already... They've drawn blood on me already on my arms and legs, these horse flies. Uh, I've got one on my back now. Yeah, there's one chasing me all the time. He's not happy with just one piercing of blood. So the thing is, you don't really feel them until they stick their proboscis into your skin. I've got one now, I've got a fresh one on my back there. Yeah, the bloody horse flies are horrible things. You can't help it. If this is one of the things you have to accept. I'm sorry to say that if not, you just don't go out. You have to put up with um, these bites. And they can be very horrible and they can last ages. It takes a long time and they leave scars. I've got some antihistamine cream. I'll, when I get up to the next gate, I'll probably rub a bit of that on some of these wounds. <sighs> yeah, they're quite big, some of these horse flies as well, and they get on you, and they dig in. Oh, they draw blood. <laughs> of course, they're everywhere. Everywhere you go, <sighs> you get them. Just felt like something has bit me real big on the back. <sighs> and that's why I've got so many. Uh, uh, my skin is scarred with um, country insects, I call them. I say, Philippine, well, do attack me. <sighs> Repellent doesn't always work, and I don't even like using it because it's um, chemicals again. Basically, I just have to put up with it. They love it. When, there's one on me now. Oh my god, he's on my arm. Get off. He's just got me by the elbow. So that's one that's been following me for ages. Yeah, it is a, it is a problem. Either that or you don't. You cover up completely, but they can bite through t-shirts and stuff. There's one, he just won't leave me alone. They can smell the blood, you see. They can smell you. And they just follow you. Fortunately, it, always ever, it only seems to be one, but there must be more of them. Imagine if a hundred decided to get you. This is part of Sheila's walking in the countryside. This is part of what happens when you walk in the countryside. Now a lot of people I see, especially students, they're totally covered from head to foot so that they don't get a bite. I mean there are ticks in some areas, I think. Uh, I'm not quite sure about the fields. Um, but these are mainly horse flies that keep getting me. Um, 
but they're covered and they've even got like their anoraks on you know nothing could survive nothing could get them so for, uh, there's one now get me oh <sighs> yeah I'll splatter a load of antihistamine on in a minute so that's what makes you scratch <sighs> fortunately <sighs> there's a big one get off Fortunately, it's not like the mosquito yet. Because that's weird. Mosquitoes don't normally bite me. I don't know. I don't have problems with mosquitoes. It's these bloody horseflies. No, it doesn't matter if I'm shaking them off. So that you know, this this is what happens. Like people walking in the jungle, they get leeches on them. And they get snakes and spiders after them. That's a good thing about winter walking. You just don't get the insects. You, might, you, you know, when it starts warming up, you get a few butterflies. And as soon as it heats up, they're just waiting. There's one. Just, I don't know if it's the same one. It just won't leave me alone. It's, it's after me all the time. It's been a nice day out. It's, I needed to have this walk though. I'll get cabin fever real bad if I don't get out. It goes back to the uh, marathon days when you get like a high, a chemical high when you run a lot. And um, if there's a, a proper time when you can't do your big run, like if you're on a family holiday, you can't always, you could never sort of get away to do like 15 miles or anything. You had to like sacrifice. And you could feel the almost withdrawal coming through because you needed to have that walk or that run in those days for me. I needed to have the run, I remember. But now, I, I, I need to have at least once a week a, what I call a decent walk. Um, this one's not been too bad. I, this is quite a big walk. A lot of people would find this quite a big walk I've done. It isn't as big as I planned it to be. So I planned to go through the stream all up round. <sighs> um, get off! Oh, you horrible fly! There's <sighs> loads here. They seem to wait by the gate. They know they can get you. I'm not stopping for a drink till I get on concrete. I seen some people earlier. They were a couple hundred yards in front of me. And they were being attacked by what looked like bees. Um, and they managed to get in their car. And then they, they stopped. They waited to see if I got approached by bees uh, I think what happened so what I did was um, I just stopped and had a drink of water I didn't walk straight into the area they'd been in straight away I mean they were flapping their arms around and all this sort of thing and I just calmly carried on walking taking photos and um, uh, oh God, that was another one that just got me then and they didn't um, they didn't come after me I just seen somebody walking a bit further up down the track there. Of course, all the kids will be coming home from school soon. There's a white van coming now. The white van man. Could even be these vans, when they've got students out, they, they go out hunting for them. You know what I mean? They go out hunting for them. There's a group of back there waiting for a load of students, but I can't see any of them. I seen one big group earlier on up on the top there. And uh, they could be a different group, mind. mine. 
some cows up there. Of course I got um I've got to uh risk going through a field of cows. In a minute, there's um, up here through Piney Slights Farm, there's a big herd. Um, I might have to do some diversions yet. <sighs> right, onto concrete. We're leaving the sheep field behind. It's all so beautiful, isn't it? All so beautiful, everyone. It's really hot. It, it, they said it was going to be 32 degrees today. I'm not sure if it is, but it's nice to be warm. Now I can see cows. Depends how many are actually... These are the cows I've got to avoid. Over there. They got calves, you see. It's quite a big herd there. I might. But of course, what happens sometimes, they split. You could get one half the herd that end of the field. Now I need to go straight on. As long as they don't start moving that way, because cows can move bloody quick. Right, over and out.